Hey guys, Skyby01 here, and today I'm doing a Transformer review of, um, I believe movie 2, I think it is, or if it's not in any movie series, it can't be home for Decepticons either, because most of those are deluxe. Anyways, this is the Transformer Mind Wipe review, and he's part of Decepticons, if you guys never knew that. Yeah, if you guys hear that squeaky noise, it's because he has no landing gear. He's mainly made for flying, and yes, you see his head right there. Now he has some really nice Cybertronian markings on this swing, as well as on this swing. And if you guys notice, there are two different types of markings. Wish I knew what each one meant, so but oh well I don't. Then here's a Decepticon thing. I don't think the camera's gonna clear up for you guys, I'm sorry. But yeah, his Decepticon symbol's right there. And the design right next to it kinda looks like the Decepticon version of the Elite Guard and animated. That's very nice. And then there's purple stuff here. Red little cod pit, more purple. Um, he's mainly purple and um a gray. Not sure what type of gray, but it's a gray. And there's silver and some type of green. Yeah, I wish I knew all, all types of colors, so he'd be all fancy sounding when I show all the colors off, but. I don't, so, oh well. And yeah, I have the transformation sheet with me, and I just looked at it, and it says there are landing gear. Where in the world is the land, oh. I found them. They're right here. So, yeah. That's, I guess that's what happens when you read something Again, you get you finally get to see it. And where's the landing gear up front? Ha, ah, found it. Yeah. It's right down here. Yeah. Yeah. Got one. The other one should be more easier because there's more. Yep. Come on, don't fall back. Ha ha. So now he has landing gear. roll really well, but then again, these types are not supposed to roll, they're supposed to break and help enough to take off, because it's more the air, and yeah, then, yeah, this is like on a spring, so no, so no matter how hard you push down, it will come back up again, and yeah, there's this. Is there any other little trinkets that I could have fun with other than this? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, so I'll put the landing gear away now. Because they're not needed. And something just went off and it looks like... From my perspective, it's the wing. It's this wing here, but that's okay. It won't ruin anything. Because this, again, is not one of those hard ones. And I didn't check what level this guy's at unless it doesn't say on his transformation sheet and yes I'm using his transformation sheet. Whatever. Yeah. First thing is to get his legs out. This should not be hard unless something is attached, which I'm guessing is a swing. Which is supposed to be attached. So yeah. There's his legs. Right there. And I think I have this thing too low. So, I'll lift the camera up, put something underneath, and now it just looks too hyped to me. But, we're going to be doing a lot of things, so eh, I'll use this until I'm done. So, yeah. Once this is done, you try to take these two things apart here. Hmm. Yeah. 
I'm going to get Mind Wipe's head out of here since I can and I have time. Oopie. Yeah, I'm going to... And yeah, this is how it's supposed to be, but I'm going to leave the arms here while I do the legs. And yes, I didn't talk very much. Still have a slight headache. Bye. See you in the... But I'm better. If nobody knows what I mean or even try or knows what I tried to do, sorry. Just watch um Holy Grail or find some Holy Grail videos. I just found oh great. I just realized I talked and still trust on the guy and yes my dog is barking. Yeah. So the thing is you put this down for each foot, turn this around, and do it with both. So you kind of have him standing, kind of. Ta-da! Yes. And I hear a car, so I'm kissing my mom's home. Yay! But I'm continuing. Next, we bring his arm shoulder thingies down like this and then swerve them downward and I want to try and push farther back so you guys can see a little bit better when I swerve the other one down so yeah that's how that goes and the guy is standing sweet well done then next we take this piece out so it's like that I'm going to do this one so you kind of swerve it out like that. Bring the hand sore thing out of it. And this little thing is supposed to attach to this red thing here. So it gets to stay. But sometimes, for me with this guy, it doesn't always work. And I'm thinking it just didn't work. But it's usually this hand that gives me the trouble. Well, this side usually gives me the trouble. I didn't think it'd be trouble this time. Whoopee! Okay, never mind. It was my dad. Alright, trying to lift this guy up a bit. And... Now it's Mind Wipe. And I didn't have to look at the transformation stream. Oh, I just found out something I forgot. You also get to move these back, which show these red things pop up. So... Yeah, and these things automatically go back more, so. Really sweet. I'm going to let the camera up because it's not tall enough, so. Like, top half 360, and yeah, I think he's off, and he's offside a bit because the leg fell a bit. So I'm going to continue doing 360, even though he's no longer balanced anymore. Nah. This is impossible to do with one hand right now. Ha. Yeah, and then try to do bottom half, which I'm missing a little odd. 360, and there's the transformation she in the background. Yes. So, yeah, that's Mind Wipe. And he's a little bit unbalanced, so I'm going to fix that right now, because I like my guys being balanced. And, yeah. Who are you that his legs? He should have his swords out. So, yeah, and here, this is where you press the button, and this sword's stuck. That's weird. So, yeah. And his elbow bends. Okay, how come the swords are so many stuck? They never got stuck before. That's so weird. little pose. Woo! Yeah, I don't do too many poses with my guys in reviews. Really, this is kind of first time I did pose, I believe. So, yay! Yeah. So this is the end of the Mind Wipe review. I'm gonna bend his legs. Um, his... This is like the basic swerving entire leg. Thing goes 360, elbow bending, or I did that. Hit, 
can go 360, you just have to move his head around to be able to do that. And yeah, I'm add some stuff now because I was about to end it, but then I realized I forgot stuff and sorry. And you're supposed to, you'll like this guy head to go higher, but I'm guessing his legs went funny. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Definitely everything about Mindwipe, I give this guy an A plus. Or at least just an A. Cause he's not that hard. He's a great figure. He has a great transformation. He does get stuck once in a while, but it's mainly my fault. Because sometimes these legs aren't correct. Yes. Because he has waist articulation, so sometimes so sometimes I think it's supposed to be like this. Sometimes, but then it's like, no, it's here. Yay. Yeah, I don't know why, but somehow that gets all, tri gets all tricky with me because waste, I think there's a waste articulation transformation. At least there's always my brother and his cliff jumper. Because when he thought it, his cliff jumper could do that, broke in half. Yeah, why did the head have to even be missing too? Because then I could fix the guy, but I can't. Nah. Then enough about Cliff Jumper. This is Mind Wipe's review. So if you can, so if you find this Mind Wipe, if he's still in store somehow, I advise to go get him, or you have to go to an email, not email, uh, internet store site like Amazon. Um, big toy review, big, not big toy reviews, the big toy store dot com, trying, um, KO toys. I know there's another one because of K, so like, uh, K A. I think there's a, a wait. I think that's a P on a T. Yeah, I have words in my head, and I'm trying to read them. But the colors are so colorful, it's kind of confusing. Ah. I love my slide photographic memory, but it's very... <sighs> when things aren't quite right. Oh, well. Yeah, this is Mind Wipes. It's the end of Transformers Mind Wipe review. And I'll see all of you guys later. So it's going to be 0-1 signing off. Yay.